My brother and sisters, hmm, there is problem. Ghanaians are going through a very tough time. But let me not just say Ghanaians. Let's say the whole of Africa, because even my beloved country, Cameroon, and my fellow brothers and sisters in Cameroon are really going through a very difficult time. Inflation is right up here, and prices of basic goods are really, really high. Things are really tough. The current pandemic has put all of us in a very difficult situation. Most people are really struggling for daily survival. Except you are someone who is really successful, my brother, my sister. Now, as I am talking to you, cannot provide three square me. Common people in Cameroon or in Ghana can barely settle for one good quality meal. It's really difficult, my brother, my sister. It's really, really difficult. But before I continue, please watch this video about the sufferings of Ghanaians. Ghana's markets are why inflation bites hardest. Here, some goods are priced beyond the reach of many customers. This is forcing shoppers like Chantal to either reduce their food budgets or take some items off the menu. I came to buy fish, and because of the price, I'm asking, please, please, reduce it. And she's not reducing it. And I think I cannot buy, so I'm going. Because I'm having a CDs, and she said 16 CDs, and I cannot afford it. At first, I, it was uh, eight CDs, and now it's 16 CDs, so times two. So I, I don't know what to do about it. She puts much of the blame on traders such as Felicia Patenu, who in turn blames producers and the government. For us, a trader, now the economy has become so tight in such a way that always they increase all the goods that it is coming. In June, thousands of people took to the streets to demand a reversal of government policies they say were fueling inflation. Between March and May this year, Ghana's central bank has raised interest rates twice by at least 200 points each time. It was trying to rein inflation, which is currently at 27%. But along with a 15% drop in the value of the local currency, in the month of March alone, they haven't stopped the prices of goods, pushing far higher for most people here. The government, looking to the International Monetary Fund for support, says it's intervening to help Ghanaians through the crisis. My brother, my sister, you guys have seen, right, how Ghanaians cannot even afford basic uh, food stuff. It's difficult. The whole of Africa is suffering. And uh, when you see things like this, you know, when you see people suffering, it really, really pains you because they are your brothers, they are your sisters, they are your mothers, and they are your fathers. When you see them going through difficulties, it really, really hits you. So all this is as a result of the pandemic and also bad governance in Africa. Because even though the pandemic is to be blamed for what we are going through and also the conflict between Russia and Ukraine, but some other countries in Asia have been able to really absorb the shock and it hasn't affected their people like how it's affecting Africans. So my brother, my sister, I hope that this current pandemic will be an eye-opener for our governments, for them to come to understand that putting in place good policies is very important. We cannot just hope that things always go smoothly. We must also anticipate that things might go badly sometimes. And when those difficult moment comes, what are we going to do? This pandemic should serve as an eye opener to our leaders and also to us, the people. We cannot just leave everything to our leaders. We also must share part of the responsibility because after all, our lives is our responsibility.
our destiny is our responsibility. So we cannot just leave it to the leaders to take care of everything. My brother, my sister, in Ghana, please share your thoughts with us. How are things over there? And how are you guys really managing? I know it's really hard, but I would like to hear your own story. So please share your own story with us so that we can really understand what you are going through. Thank you very much for sharing your story. And also, thank you very much for watching. And one more time, please, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, kindly do that. We shall really appreciate it. So, please do subscribe. We beg you, okay? <laughs> and uh, thank you guys for always watching our videos. Thank you guys for always being with us. And goodbye for now. See you in the next one. Pssh.